Hey there, it's Tom. Thanks for joining me today. Let's go over how I handle orders. Here's a shoot I did of a model named Erica and she selected some of her favorite images. I've already retouched them, but we'll go ahead and look at them, reset them, and then I'll take you through the process. But the first thing I would do is click on the gray target because we're going to need that. And then I'll select the numbers that she chose. So she chose 208 and I'm holding down the command or option key to keep it. So that way if I click, they're all highlighted. If I didn't do that and I clicked on one, they'd all go away. So click on the gray card, hold down the command or control key, and then click on the ones that she selected. 208, 209, 211, 217, 223, 226, and 237. Then I would select the number eight, six, seven, eight, nine, just to give it a color. Or you can come up here, click on a color, and then all of those will have a green for this order. That's the way I can handle multiple orders and have them all assigned different colors. Next, go into attribute, select the color we want to see, and now we have all those images highlighted. So here are all the images she chose. I did already retouch these, but for fun, we're going to reset some of them. Let's click on just a few of these. And then I'll right click and we'll reset the settings on those images. So we went from a capture like this and edited it to something like this. And let's go through that process. So first let's take a look at the image. It was shot very late on a winter night. <laughs> close to six o'clock, we pretty much lost light around 5.30. It was really getting dark by the time I took this image. You can see we're at ISO 2000, hand holding at 160th. Not something I like to do, but it was the Canon EOS R5, so it does have in-body stabilization. And then shooting wide open on my 85 millimeter at f1.8. So the image does look a little underexposed, but not bad. We still have good detail in the black areas. Nothing is blown out. I'll do Option or Alt J. We'll have the highlight blinker comes on and nothing is overexposed or underexposed. Again, selecting those four images that we want to work on. I want to highlight the one with the target card and now we'll go into develop. When working with the Weibull gray card or any uh, white balance gray card that you wanna use, first thing I do is set the proper Calvin for the situation we were in. Next, set a camera profile. And for this, I'm going to use the Canon EOS R5 camera portrait profile. I do have a video on how to get these custom profiles into On One Photo, and I'll leave a link below in the description in case you'd like to watch that. Okay, next I'm going to make sure we can see our levels. And for skin tone, that's quite low. The gray card is quite low too. So let's just bring this up a bit. And that's looking much better. So about half a stop. Blacks are still okay. Midtones are okay. We could add just a bit to the midtones. And that's looking nice. So next I'll come down here and let's sync those. And that's Command or Control, Option and Alt, and the letter S. That will bring this up and we want to hit apply and that's going to adjust those other images. All right, so let's go to one of the images that was actually selected and we'll take a look at that. And 
At this point, the light is really dropping off quickly. So even the exposure from the gray card to the actual exposure of the pose that she chose is going to be different. So I'm going to bring up this exposure. All right, and we do have a little blown out sky and that actually looks fine. I am going to bring up the midtones a little bit and just looking at it and we do have a range in the black so everything is looking good so right at this point this could be all we need to do to the image but let's kind of go enhance it exactly how i edited it first thing i did was go into effects add a filter went into lots chose the category color grading select the drop down menu and just use the down arrow key to start scrolling through. And the one I liked the best for this image was Insight. So I select Insight and we're good there. Next, added another filter and that was a vignette, big softy, and toned it down quite a bit. That just was bringing attention into Erica, and that looks great. Finally, that LUT added, um, kind of clipped the blacks a little bit, not much. So I'm going to go back to develop and just add five points of black. And that looks awesome, just like that. So that's the look I like. Everything is going good. I'm going to hit the blue check mark and put those on. Next, let's apply those changes to the other images there. So we'll go up to settings and we did the shortcut key commands before, but you can see them from the drop down menu this way. And this time we'll actually do sync all settings. And that looks great. At this point, we no longer need the gray target. So I'm going to hold down the command or control card and just click on it. Okay, we still have those three images. And now let's do some fine tuning. So take it back into develop. I'm going to do option or alt J, bring in the clippings. When we added the LUT, it toned down the highlights a touch. I'm going to bring those back up. All right, and that's looking really nice. One little thing I might do is come up to local, add an adjustment. We'll use lighten. And on my brush, we'll take the opacity down a bit. And we're going to paint in. And all this will do is brighten up the image where we paint. And I'm just going to make my brush a little bigger and it just goes softly over the face. And let's just take a look at that. Just gives it a little pop of light. So I was doing available light on this shoot. Again, it was really dark. We did have some light coming in from the left side of the camera from the park. This side had lots of trees and coverage. So that's where we're getting that brightness the highlight side on her right cheek and the darkness on her left cheek. So that looks awesome. Happy with that image. And again, since the light was changing so quick, those other images probably are going to need slight adjustments as well. Normally syncing up my settings during a shoot works really well, but under these changing conditions, I think I'm going to have to actually adjust each individual image a little bit. I'm going to use the right arrow key, go to the next image, go back into the develop module. Again, doing Alt or Option J to see my highlight and shadow alerts. And we'll bring up the exposure a bit. That looks nice. We'll add a local lighten adjustment. Hit B for my brush. Still has those settings retained. So paint and opacity. And then we'll just go over. And again, just want it believable. Not too bright. Just a 
pop on the face so that looks great go to the next image that one's looking good overall but we could definitely do a pop of light on the face go to lighten Okay, that one I did three different clicks and that brought from there to there. So that's all you need to do. Go through the different images and get fantastic results. Thanks again for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch more videos like that, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Be sure to ask any questions in the comments section. I do reply to all questions about the photography or using on one photo raw. Until next time, keep shooting.